what's up guys it's your girl the daily miz aka anam so today i did a makeup tutorial that is inspired by the sheikh zayed mosque um Eid is just around the corner we have like 10 days left of ramadan while i was filming this video i don't know when this is going to be posting but um i wanted to do something that was going to be inspirational for Eid. world's largest hand knotted carpet oh dang um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys have been there. I haven't been there before. I've only seen it in pictures and it's so beautiful and hopefully one day I get to visit. But this look was inspired by that. I saw a picture and it was like you walk into the entrance and all you see is just this white everywhere with specks of gold and then the sky is blue. So that's kind of what I was going with with this look. So if you're into this, keep watching. Okay guys, so we are going to start by priming our eyes. This is Ulta's Eye Primer Nude Matte. And I'm just going to take a little bit on my fingers and just dab it onto my eyelids. So I'm working this in my eyelids and then going all the way up to my crease and then up to my brow bone. So the first palette that I'm going to use is the Shade and Light Eye. This is by Kat Von D Vegan Beauty. It is the eye contour palette and the color that we're going to use is this white shade right here. It's called Salus and I'm just going to put that all over my lid. Maybe something as light as this color, which is basically white, is that you're going to have to build it up. So you put a little and if you need more, then you just continue to layer it until you get the consistency that you like. Now I'm going to use this palette by Essence. It's called Too Glam to Give a Damn. And the color that we're going to use is this little deep blue right over here. Um, I'm going to just dab my brush into this very lightly. We don't want a lot of product in there because I've already put like a light shade on there. And if I just go heavy with this and just start going crazy, it's just going to cover it all up. So we're just going to put light, light application on our brush. And I'm going to start with, basically I'm going to start from the middle side and I'm going to work my way outwards so you guys can see that I have much better control when I go in with the dark color lightly as opposed to going in heavy I'm able to create the shape that I want better and I have a lot better control of how much color I get in contrast with the light shade that I used I purposely like left all this foliage on my face because I actually have like a concealer trick that I'm going to show you guys later. So now I'm going to use NYX's glitter primer um, and I'm just going to put a little bit of glitter right starting from my inner corner and just working up to the middle. It's going to dip it in here a little bit and I'm going to start from where the dark shade is in the middle and then I'm just going to connect it all the way to my inner corner. So now I'm going to use this gold shade by NYX. It's their body and face glitter. I'm going to put a little bit on the cover. And then I'm going to take a brush and then I'm going to work my way into where I put that glitter base. These are the lashes that I'm going to be using. They're by Pink River London. So basically I'm going to curl my lashes, put a little bit of mascara on, and then I'm going to put these on. So a really good tip for anyone that likes to do their face first. So basically if you've already done your foundation, you got your bronzer, your contour, your highlight on, and now you do your eyes and you run into an issue like this where you have like foliage onto your under eye. Instead of using like a makeup remover to wipe everything off, all you got to do is take concealer, any concealer that you use. You don't want too much. And just take it and all you do is start from where the foliage begins and you just do this and then you can take any one of your beauty sponges and you just blend it out okay so I just did this side as well so you guys can see, concealer, concealer, blend it out. So this is really good for anyone who puts their foundation on first and then they like to do their eyes last. 
if you have any foliage you just have to put concealer on and just blend it out and it's like it wasn't even there to begin with um, if you're like me and you like to do your eyes first then you don't necessarily have to do this um, if it happens you can just use like a makeup remover and just wipe it off primer on this is Neutrogena's healthy skin primer I'm just gonna put a little bit on my fingers and then just mix it into my face foundation that I'm going to be using is Laura Mercier's Flawless Fusion. I'm just going to put some on my hand and then I'm going to take a makeup brush so like this and I'm just going to put it all over my face. Foundation down to our neckline. We want this to match. You don't want your neck to be one color and then your face another. And then I'm just going to take a beauty sponge and just blend it out to get rid of any excess product. So with this foundation, I've noticed that when I initially put it on, like it looks very yellow compared to like my undertones. My undertone's very pink. But I noticed that like after a couple minutes when it settles down, then it kind of becomes the color that I want it to be. Sorry, I like forgot to hit the record button but I'm doing concealer now so I'm using shape tape by Tarte and I just put it in the areas where natural light hits your face so now I'm just gonna blend out my concealer I'm done with concealer uh, I'm gonna start contouring I don't want to go super heavy into it so I'm just gonna use bronzer and a little bit of like powder um, I already did my eyebrows this is Kat Von D's dimension powder the color is in dark brown so I just went ahead and did that the Park Ave princess palette by Tarte and I'm gonna be using the bronzer in here and working that into my cheeks I get a lot of people who ask me about contouring and highlighting so I will do a video um, soon on the basics of contouring and highlighting your face. It's going to be more of like a beginner level just for anyone who like doesn't know how to do it and they just want to see how it's done properly. Also want to bring it down to our neck just like our foundation because like I said if you're using a foundation that's a bit tanner and you don't work it down to your neck people will notice. They're going to notice that your neck is like white and your face is dark and it looks super weird. So it's always important to bring everything down to your neck so that it blends in and it looks natural. I'm back into this palette and I'm going to use that deep blue that we use in our eyes and I'm just going to put it on my under eye. I have the Voluminous Original Mascara by L'Oreal and I'm just going to use that on my lower lashes. I'm going to go in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit Sweets and I'm going to use the color Marshmallow and I am going to put that on my cheeks. So I'm just using like a fan brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of the product and I'm going to work it into my cheekbones. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my lips now so the first color I'm gonna use is called Barracuda by Colourpop Cosmetics so I'm just gonna put this <clears throat> on my lips on top of that I'm gonna go in with this color by Dose of Colors this one is warm and fuzzy this one's a bit of a lighter shade so I'm gonna put it on top of the darker color that I just put on my lips I'm just going to set my face. This is Smashbox's Photo Finish Primer Water. So I'm just going to spray this all over my makeup. Okay, so this is the final look. I am pretty happy with this. Um, I hope you guys liked it as well. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed watching this video. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for me of what you would like to see, make sure you comment down below. And um, I wish all of you a happy Eid. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.